I hope more than anything, as I have done from the start, that the original fans of this um, wonderful piece of work are happy with, with um, our interpretation. And welcome to Supernova TV. I'm here at Docklands Studio uh, on the set of Preacher with the titular Preacher, Dominic Cooper. It's great to, to meet you, Dominic. How great are to you? meet you. I'm very good, thank you. Yeah. Preacher's fascinating um, uh, as a show. Uh, what was your introduction to the, uh, the comic book series and the script? Uh, the, I think both kind of um, happened simultaneously, actually, which was, uh, although I had vague memories of it, but I remember that sort of treacherous, not awful pilot season that takes place um, that I haven't, haven't ever really luckily sort of been part of in terms of the scramble for work, thankfully, but, but the, it, I knew that it was one of the ones that was mentioned at that time uh, that everyone was very excited about. So um, I think actually I was, I was with Ruth one afternoon having tea and the... Uh, I think she. I think I stole the script from her. <laughs> but I saw it and was quite intrigued by it. And then looked at the uh, looked at the um, comic book cover, and saw this incredible illustration, mm. and saw someone who kind of looked as demonic as myself on the on the on the front. And then I looked at who and thought that maybe that was a possibility. And then approached the the, um, the creative team around it and. Uh, and had an extraordinarily strange interview with Seth Rogen, amongst others, about this thing. And if you don't know much about it, to be pitched the idea. Um... <laughs> For those maybe uh, friends or family that, that aren't familiar with the, the comic, well, how do you pitch it to them? Like, this is the I show just, I, I can't. I <laughs> it's a very good question, but I find it almost impossible. <laughs> I start by saying, I suppose, but it's also, it's because it's evolved and it's changed so dramatically from the thing that I knew it to be at the beginning. Um, but I suppose I'd say it's it, originally, it was a, a, guy, a lost man who's very remorseful of his father's death that he blames himself for in a town that he tries to <laughs> help. <laughs> That's how it began. That's mm -hmm. what I saw it as the beginning. And then, then it becomes, Extra then these wonderful, otherworldly, peculiar um, people that aren't, I suppose, that far removed from our everyday society, especially now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that was the that's the uh, what I've n noted and found. Actually, even in the five years we've been doing it, how more ludicrous the world becomes. This has had to become more. Yeah. ludicrous in a way because actually the things that are happening in our in in real life are kind of more unbelievable than you could have imagined a few years ago i mean that's really the truth as we were beginning this the, the things that have gone on certainly in, in america recently it's it's like wow we, we really have to push the boundaries of what we of what can actually happen politically and you know everything everything else. so this has become more extreme i think as a result of it now you've, you've been uh, at, let's see it was albuquerque then new orleans and now melbourne um What's your favourite thing about Melbourne uh, and what do you miss about those other uh, places? Well, I think Melbourne's managed to have everything that was essential for this season. And it was incredible how, because I was involved quite early on with regards to what we need the landscape of this season to be. And we've looked everywhere. Um, and we needed this wonderful, beautiful, uh, landscape uh, along with a very cool modern urban environment and um, and to do with the time of year as well there's I mean I've not seen anything like it in fact we were lucky enough in Albuquerque and I love photography so there's a time of day in Albuquerque that the magic hour there it's different but it's extraordinary here as well I mean it's just it's stunning I mean as a filmmaker you just want you have this hour gap <laughs> to shoot everything but it, it is wonderful and it's been an absolute pleasure to be here um, working with a, with a really, really hard working crew who have really understood the project as well. It's not an easy show to make um, in a short time scale. Um, and it's just, it's felt sort of home from home actually more than anywhere else, I must say, in terms of, I suppose, the the likenesses with personality here or with sense of humor. For me, it feels like, I, I feel like I'm, I've been sort of filming at home, which has been wonderful. Um, I've been really, really 
really happy living living in this. I didn't know Melbourne. I, I knew Sydney quite well, and um, but it's been great being here. It's been uh, great having yeah. you here. Thank Thanks. you very much. Nice <laughs> to meet you.